Good evening, George and George. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. However, let's briefly review some of the more important rules. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns and one round will automatically end the contest. When I say break, you must break. Now, let's have a nice clean fight. Shake hands now. Come out, boxer. Here's round one of this 10-round heavyweight bout. George Foreman on the left in the red trunks, if you're watching in color. George Chivalo in the blue trunks with the red border. Arthur McCanty, the referee. They're wearing eight-ounce gloves. The count will continue at the bell. If a man is floored, he must take a mandatory eight count. And if a man is floored and three times in a round, he is considered knocked out. Now, it's going to be very hard for Chivalo to stay away from that hard left jab, and it is a hard left jab that Foreman has. It just got in there. And again. Chivalo's best is his left hook, and he got that in twice to the body. And McCanty is telling the boys not to get too rough. Imagine that. Both are very strong. It isn't often you see Chivalo using a left jab. Maybe they taught him something. Chivalo figures to go to the body to slow down the younger opponent. 11 years younger at 21. Foreman to make use of that left jab. A minute to go in round one. Foreman is keeping Chivalo off balance. Chivalo can't get set here. A uh, good right hand by Chivalo. Foreman making good use of his reach advantage. He's giving Chivalo no rest. Chivalo apparently having trouble with his breathing. Two minutes left in this round. Chivalo's best punch is his left hook to the body, and the question is, can he get it in there often enough? A good one to the head by Chivalo. Chivalo a little bit puffy around the left eye.
There you can see the puffiness around Shivalo's eyes. A minute to go in this round. Time has to be on Shivalo's side. The first two rounds aren't. That is an angry mouse under the left eye of Shivalo. Ten seconds to go in round two. George Foreman in the red trunks. George Chevallo in the blue trunks. Foreman's the taller of the two by about three inches. Foreman, for all of his inexperience, he's only had 21 fights, all of which he's won, is going about this job in a methodical, workmanlike way. And he's taking his time, unhurried, just piling up the points. Chavalo staggered. Chavalo has never been off his feet. Two minutes left in the round. It's an awesome battering that Chavalo is taking. He is now spitting blood. Chavalo being battered in his own corner. And Irving Ungerman, his manager, is asking the referee to stop it. He's climbing into the ring. The referee hasn't heard him. It's all over. It's all over. Arthur McCanty has stopped the fight. Irving Ungerman, to give him credit, his manager was climbing in there. There's the winner, George Foreman. Irving Ungerman wanted the fight stopped. It was no contest almost from the beginning. Chavalo is protesting to the referee, but I believe the referee did the right thing for boxing and for Chavalo.